Hey everyone, I'm Dan Spada, and in today's video, I'm going to show you the interactive digital whiteboard, Hey Hi! Many teachers have reached out to me asking if there was any kind of interactive digital whiteboard that they can use with their students. Some were using Jamboard and weren't really happy with some of its limitations. So I found a website, Hey Hi, uh, which you can find at heyhi.sg. And this is an interactive digital whiteboard that has a lot of really great features. So today I'm going to show you how you can use this in your classroom. So the first thing you'll notice is that Hey Hi gives you the option to allow your students to see you and hear you. So you can turn the camera and audio on and off just by toggling these buttons here. Now I'm going to turn it off because I know I'm using two different computers, so my voice will be a little bit off. Um, but I did want to show you that that's a really great feature that you can use, especially if you want your students to see you while you're presenting. So down at the bottom of the screen, you'll see our toolbar. So we'll go through what all of these options are. Uh, first, you'll see our color menu. So you can select what color you want to use. And then you've got the pen tool, which you can just you know write out if you want. You can choose the thickness back in the color menu. So if you wanted to make it you know, thin or thick, you can just select the line. You can highlight and just select what color you'd like to highlight. You can use the laser pointer. So if you just want to draw the student's attention to something, you can use that. There's an eraser. There's the draw shape tool, so you can draw straight lines, rectangles, circles, ellipses, triangles, and polygon if you wanted to create your own shape. So you can just click and it creates a new point. And then when you bring it back to the start point, you have your shape and then you can delete, lock, you can rotate it, and there's all different options. You can also insert an image, and I absolutely love this because you can either insert images or documents. So if there was a worksheet that you wanted to model with the students or have the students work on, you can just import that. And so you see when I click on insert document, it'll allow you to drop a PDF in there. So I'll just pick ones to show you what it looks like. So I've chosen a PDF um, that has multiple pages just to show you what it would look like if you wanted to have multiple pages in. And you can select the pages that you want. And then you also have the import options of having an image per screen. Um, so it'll create multiple screens for you. Or if you only had two, you could put them on the same screen. So let's just do an image per screen. And now you'll see each screen has one image on it. So I could, if I wanted to, have each student or groups of students work on different pages. And I can use my tools here to highlight things. Or I could actually use the highlighter tool and highlight parts of sentences. So you can mark up the work and have your students see it. Or you can have your students do it. Or you can do it collaboratively. There's lots of different options how you can use these tools. So we're just going to come back to our first screen. I'm just going to insert a PDF worksheet. Okay, so I just inserted a math worksheet and I'm going to shrink this down just so it all fits on one page. So if you hold down the control button and click on a corner, it will maintain the aspect ratio so you don't have to worry about it getting distorted. So we'll just shrink this down a little bit so that the students can see everything on one page. And I realized I skipped over the text tool. Now you can use the text tool in a couple different ways. We can use it to write. So I can put, you know, I start to write ed tech up above. So I can finish that here. And again, just clicking on the corner, I can make that bigger or smaller. Or I can use that for my worksheet up here. So I can create an answer here. And then just click and drag that over. Or like before, I can just use these tools over here. And I can write out answers. And again, you know, you can just mark up anything. You can actually use the eraser tool on your worksheets or images. So if I wanted to say erase this, I can erase part of my worksheet, which I think is really cool. You can also use the hand tool to move what you've created. Now, one of the really great things about Hey Hi is that there is an expandable whiteboard space. 
So I can take this board and go really far. I mean, I've tested it, and it's pretty big. It's almost infinite. I don't know if it's actually infinite, but it seems like it is. And you can also zoom in quite a bit. So I'm going to show you just how far the zoom goes. So if you're a teacher and you want your students to just see um, you know, part of the screen, you can zoom in or zoom out to really bring their attention to what you're working on. There are guest settings so that once you invite the students in, you can decide what the students can do, whether they can edit, whether they can speak, whether they can appear on webcam, and whether they can chat, and it's very easy to invite the guests. So if you click on invite guest, so I'm just gonna put in my own email address just to show you what this looks like. So I'll invite myself. And then in the person's email, it just gives you a link that you can click on. So I'm gonna click on that from a different computer here. So now you'll see that there is another participant in here. And as I mentioned earlier, as the host, you can decide what that person is able to do, whether they can edit, speak, show their webcam, they can chat. You can turn these on and off at any point throughout the meeting. So you can turn it off in the beginning without them being able to edit and then turn it on if you want them to be able to do stuff later. So now I'm just going to show you what it looks like on your screen if you have somebody else writing. And so any time you have the participants able to edit, they can go in and do any work that you want them to do. As the host, you can also create um, stuff in the chat. You can upload files or have instant polls. So if I wanted to write something, I can type a message in here and click send. And you'll see it shows up there on the other person's screen. And then they can respond as well. And so their response comes back in the chat and you can see who wrote it. You can upload files. So I'm going to upload an image of the worksheet that we're working on. And then the students can click on it and download. So I can just instantly send them what they need. And I can create an instant poll. So I can write something like, was this exercise helpful? And I can give them choices and publish that. And then, so the students will see on their side, um, the, the poll they can answer and submit responses. And then as the host, you can click on it and see what they've responded. You can also create a poll that has correct and incorrect answers. So I can say, what is 35 plus six? And I can give different options. And then I can choose the correct answer and publish that. And then when I click to see, I can see um, you know, how many people chose the correct answer and the incorrect answer, as well as who answered which question. So this is really helpful for being able to assess the student's knowledge uh, in real time as you're working with them. One of the unique features that HeyHi offers is the draw with touch feature. So if you click on that, it will give you a QR code. And with a phone or a tablet or any device that can read QR codes, uh, I'm gonna show you my phone. You can scan that QR code. And you'll see that it loads up and it will load uh, the board that we're working on. So you'll see my phone in the top right corner. And this will allow me to be able to draw on the board using my phone. So you'll see I, I draw something on my phone and then it shows up on the board. And this is just a really great feature because not everybody has a Chromebook that's touch enabled or a device like that, but whether it's a teacher or a student, they can use their phones or a tablet to be able to draw and work on the digital whiteboard as well. And while you'll notice that the phone doesn't have as many options as the uh, actual computer does, it is easy for me to be able to draw and be able to write things on there uh, just using my fingers. So HeyHi is free to use, uh, but there are premium features if you enjoy it that range from $1.66 a month up to $14.16 a month. And just so you can see what you get with the free edition, uh, you get access to 40 minute meetings. Um, so your classes can be up to 40 minutes. Uh, the classroom mode that fits four guests, lecture plus mode that fits uh, 12 guests, the lecture mode that fits 30, and the live stream that fits 50. And you'll see that with the premium, uh, you do get unlimited time for the whiteboard with the light, and then with the basic and pro, you get unlimited time for all meeting modes. 
I really love this tool. I think it's great whether you're in a distance learning setting, whether you're in a physical classroom or in some kind of hybrid. I was using this the other day with my students in small breakout groups and I just loved being able to see the students and talk to them while we were doing it. And for me, it was just a little bit easier than doing the Google Meet with the Jamboard embedded. Um, so I really like it. I'm going to keep using it in my classroom. If you're interested, there's a link to the website in the description below. Uh, also in the description, you'll find links to other tutorials and videos. If you're using Hey Hi in your classroom, please let me know how you're using it and how your students like it in the comments section below. And if you haven't subscribed to the EdTech Show, please take a second, click on that subscribe button, and click on the notification bell so that you get notified every time there's a new video. If you haven't followed me yet on Twitter, please take a second and follow me at Dan Spada and on Facebook at facebook.com slash the EdTech Show. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.